Yo, what's going on guys back again we got another video another weapon master another disgusting unit to show you guys we're here on magu's account today so as you can see we have carlos ready and built i'm going to be using carlos with riley as well as the iliana here so basically just going to be a protect the carlos comp i think a lot of this will actually see play in uh in siege and stuff because there's going to be those nana comps that doesn't they don't have a lot of damage ready to kill the carlos so a double immunity set up and here we go Um, as you can see, uh, Mago has a great account, so I'm excited to pop in and just get ready to go. So we're going to test it against his own defense. we we'll be testing Carlos against this Nana, Perna, and Ziana. Now, the reason specifically that I wanted to test it against Perna is because of the way Carlos passive works. So let me pull that up for you really quick. So Carlos, uh, first of all, it is unskilled. Uh, also, he has crit lead, so I didn't need as much crit as I put on him. Keck W. I'm going to change that real quick. To that 24 be one line of crit somewhere honestly that's fine whatever it'll work crit lead is good enough but yes so the way it works with carlos's skills um skill one the same as the others it's multi-hit into hp block uh carlos's skill two attacks the enemy to leave a branding effect for two turns this is exactly the same as Dominic's and the passive works a little differently. So the passive is your attack bar increases by 75% when an enemy or an ally dies and your attack power increases up to 300% equal to the dead targets base attack power. So when you kill something, you steal their base attack, right? You steal their base attack and then you increase your attack up to a maximum of 300%. So that's the reason why I wanted to bring it into Perna. I thought it would be interesting to kind of see how fast it scales. So let's let's put it to the test. Put it to the test. I think it'll be really exciting to try this out. I don't think I need destroy on this, but I put it on just in case. Because, you know, you never know. You never know. Two cleansers, so I'm not too afraid of uh of that Ziana, but let's see how it goes. There are all the skills. The damage check first hits. So we have attack buff. We saw it's on a crit damage build. So that's actually not bad. Unskilled. Unskilled. We just hit that perna for like. I want to say that was around 30k. A 30k is not bad. 30k is not bad. So what I want to do is I actually want to check the damage on skill 1 before the passive procs. So I'm going to hit the Ziana with skill 1. So 5k per hit. With attack buff. 5k per hit with attack buff. give myself the immunity again and then we'll hit the uh we'll hit the perna so we'll kill the perna uh we will kill the perna okay so stats fapping i gained my attack bar and now i have my passive with increased damage and now i'm hitting for so it's about 1k damage per hit so far more it's still not bad all right perna comes back again so now i've stacked even harder all right, so I hit the perna again. So considering I didn't have attack buff for those hits on the uh, the skill ones, the damage actually is increasing by a decent amount. If I'm if I'm gaining base attack from that, like it's pretty good. Let's pop the skill three in here. 10k, 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 15k, 15k, 15k. All right, that's a lot more than I was expecting it to be. Okay, and then let's check with skill one with attack buff. On branding, that's 10k, 10k. It's pretty good. I honestly think that Carlos is scaling really fast and really well. It's it's not it doesn't feel as oppressive as Dominic when we tested it, but the damage output overall is actually still quite good. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have attack buff every single time when we test. So I'll go attack buff into Perna on skill one first. So we're hitting for 4.8k each time, and then we'll kill the Perna and try again after and see how that goes. I go into the Perna. We're going to kill the Perna really quick so we can have stacks. We killed the Perna. Now we have our stack. Give ourselves invincibility again. Now with attack buff skill 1 going into the Perna, how much do we hit for after the first steal? So now we are hitting for 5.9k. Oh, I missed a crit. 5.9k is not bad though. So first kill on Perna, my overall damage increased by about 18%, right? Maybe a little bit more, maybe closer to 20% actually quite a big increase when you think about it. 5.8, 5.8. So we kill Perna again. 
So now we have two stacks of Perna's life. So just hit something else. Try to get these buffs back up and going. There's the big cleanse. Put immunity up just in case. All right, now we can go into the Perna again with two stacks of passive stolen and we should hit four. Hit for 7K, so 6.8 to 7K. So we are increasing our damage by about 15 to 20% every single time we kill something, which is actually quite a bit considering how much damage he already does. Like, the, the cool thing too is when you kill someone and you gain the stacks from passive, like their attack, you also gain 75% attack bar. So you can kind of scale and cycle really quickly with a build like this. I think we're going to see teams like this most commonly built with like a snipe unit. So something like Covenant, Teon, and then maybe Carlos to clean up because Carlos should be able to kill most units in that situation with how much damage he does on his skill three, especially if he has on a slower build. If he built him like a attacker damaged attack, maybe like plus 70, plus 80 range, he's going to be outputting a ton of damage in comparison. So if we were to bring this into this offense for a real attack, let's uh, let's set up and let's try to let's try to play this like we would if it were the fastest clear. The fastest clear attempt of this defense is probably going to be, so there's immunity still on the Diana. We go in and just kill this first turn. Oh, we didn't quite kill it, but there it is. So there's the finish, there's the attack bar gain. Then we can rotate into it again. I don't know, from, from what I'm seeing so far, this seems like pretty good. I do understand we're using really strong supports, but like Carlos's damage is really good. It's Especially since it's unskilled too, right? Like, we're using a completely unskilled Carlos, so he could gain a lot more damage in the future on this build. Oh, here's where I would go. I'm going to go skill three first, or skill two first, just because I want the cooldown to be used. Okay, that I get the attack break. I cleanse. Put up immunity, invincibility. And then we kill here, get attack bar. We kill here again, get attack bar, kill here again, and then we'd have skill three again. That's actually so busted though. Like, realistically, that is a that is a pretty fast cycling unit. I think these units are gonna be really scary on defense too. They deal so much damage and one or two procs can just turn them into an absolute nightmare. It's it's crazy. I have to summon, guys. I know I said it in the last video with Dominic, but I think I have to summon for these units. I need to know what it's like to have a Dominic. This unit is just crazy. It's just it's absolutely crazy. Let's take a little bit of a risk. Let's bring it into this and see how it goes. Oh, not fully ruined. Huh. Let's go check on one of our guildmates. Let's just build it, use it against one of our guildmates. Try bringing it into something unique. Let's bring it into this and see how it goes. Definitely not the most optimal setup here, but we can make it work. Make it work. Attack buff up. Our invincibility. Let's try and kill Yun Hong in one turn. But not quite enough damage to kill Yun Hong in one turn, so we're a little bit protected for now. Oh, she's full healing herself. I wonder if I can kill the Carcano through his buff. Let me try. If I can kill him through his glancing state. Oh, not quite. Double glancing is a lot of damage re uh, reduced. Uh oh, I made a mistake, guys. All right, let's try and test into something a little bit more unique. Let's see if it works into this. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get the damage into the Carcano in the right turn, but we'll try our best. So it's unlikely I'll be able to kill the Yin Hong in one turn, unless I have violent proc. It's a skill three to boost attack bar again. We're in an okay position here. Not the greatest, but we can make it work. Lancing. Okay, we can do some damage here. The damage is actually not bad. 5k a hit still. It's pretty consistent across most units. Most units having approximately the same defense when it comes to damage. Damage builds. Wow. 
won't be able to get the invincibility, but immunity will come up. Oh, he actually cut me. Put that damage in there. Man, this Carcano procs a lot. Reminding me of old meta stuff. Uki unit. And this should take out the first life. So I gain attack bar and I gain some attack. And now, now that I've got the first death down, I think I'm going to start scaling really fast here. Yeah, the damage is starting to scale really quickly here. I'm going to be able to kill this guy again. I'll have two stacks of it. Just boost here. Get the kill. Cycle it. Nice. So, honestly, he's feeling pretty good. Like, he snowballs really well. Once you get that first kill, you're in a great place. Even before that, as long as you're playing safe, you're, like, really, really safe. Gotta keep boosting that damage up. Oh. Oh, my God. He just deleted that Yanhong with skill, too. Yeah, he's looking pretty cool right now, guys. I'm, I'm really glad that the Weapon Masters are actually good. I am worried that they're a little bit overpowered, but at the same time, I'm kind of excited to play against them. I'm kind of excited to play against something that might be really, really scary on Siege Defense. Now he revives. Something I'm interested to know is if a unit revives, do you, like, lose their attack? I assume you don't lose the attack. I assume that you can just gain more from it, but be, I'd be interested in seeing the exact math on that. Look at that. Even with defense buff, 5k hit, and it's, it's over. What an absolutely bonkers unit. Let me know what you guys think about Carlos. I think Carlos would be really fun. Uh, let me know if there's any teams you would try him out in. I think he's just going to be a great unit. Siege offense, siege defense. He might even be fun in RTA in some cases with his ability to kind of just snipe out a unit really quick. So, If you guys have any questions or anything, have, hit me up. Let me know in the comments below. But I hope you enjoyed this video.